Hey, bro, we be making fun of our parents for believing everything on the internet, but don't act like this man didn't have us all fooled. Meet Dan, and you see, Dan had a problem. His life was crumbling before his very eyes, because you see, his living was based off of you believing he was rich. Listen, when you're a public figure and you have a company, stocks go up and down depending on you. Think about Elon Musk. When people like Elon Musk, stocks rise. When people didn't like him, stocks crash. Dan had this company called Ignite. Now it was all fun and games until he fired his vice president. His vice president said, you don't want to do that. Dan said, and what you finna do about it? His vice president said, Dan said, what? He said, I'm finna get my get back. Oh, and he got his get back. In one of the pettiest moves I've ever seen, his vice president sues him for wrongful termination. But that wasn't why he sued him. He sued him so he can show the world how Dan was really spending his money. The judge says, sir, why are you here today? He said, um, all the girls that you see Dan what he just be renting them. He just be flying them out. Dan said, objection. The judge said, hold on, I want to hear this. He said, yeah, uh, that mansion he said he bought, he just rents that too. He don't really got the money to afford it. The judge said, all right, hold on, sir. All right, how is this relevant? He said, I'm going to get to that. Uh, all the money Dan be spending on stuff, that's all the company's money. He don't really got money like that. He don't got bread like that. The judge said, all right, come on now. How is Dan being a bum relevant? Dan said, objection. The VP said, y'all got that down? The typewriter said, oh, I got it right here. <laughs> As soon as the whole world hears this, Dan stock start to plummet. But remember how I told you they be going up and down and up and down depending on the person. His stocks start to rise again because he gets a new business advisor. But when they hear about who his business advisor was, it starts to plummet again because the business advisor was none other than his father. Paul Bilzerian, and here's where things start to get wicked. See, Paul Bilzerian was not allowed to technically be his advisor. Why, you ask? Well, because he's a felon, a certified scam artist. He specialized in corporate takeovers and was really good at hiding money. When he was ordered to pay all of that money back, he said, I don't got it. So he filed for bankruptcy. But see, then people started to ask Dan, how did you get all this money to start your company in the first place? And that goes to how Dan started being famous in the first place. He first came out as a professional poker player, making a huge blast because he was very extravagant. He then claims to have won $50 million in a year. Poker player said, cap. He said, prove it. They said, that poker series you played in, you was 180th player. I seen you play. You not that good. It almost seemed like you just wanted people to know you play poker. Not really. He said, let me just stop you right there. I don't play against famous players, dummy. I play against billionaires on the low secretly, so you can't prove it. But coincidentally, he started making a big splash in the poker scene around when his trust fund was activated. He then starts his company, and then they find out the person who gave him all that money in the first place was helping him run his company in the background. And now the FBI gets involved because you see part of his conviction was if your name and company come up in the same sentence we finna get on your ass paul said oh i ain't going back to the pen he said i was just helping my son out for free because he was screwing up all his money his son says i'm not close to my dad i don't even know him like that the fbi says oh you must think we stupid so a judge orders dan's company to give them financial documents dan's company literally says objection the judge said Boy, the judge starts hitting him with fine after fine after fine for every day he doesn't give the documents. Now his dad said they eventually handed over the documents. They asked him in an interview, you think the FBI was just trying to get the get back on you? He said, maybe. After this, his company stock collapses so hard he had to pull it off the stock market. And as his company stock is decreasing, so is his real life stock. He's losing millions upon millions of followers a day. So then he comes out and says, I'm broke y'all. But see, once a scammer, always a scammer. He pivots to the easiest scam that you can do. Scamming dumb, insecure men into believing that he can turn you into a man. He starts hanging out with Andrew Tate, starts saying that I'm going to teach men how to be Sigmas. Guys, Dan is not your father. Andrew's not your brother. You're just their customers.